everyone, how are you all doing? Let's get this mic on the road. That's better. Get the mic out shot, that's even better. So what question today is, is a little accurate knowledge a dangerous thing? Because the normal statement is, a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Well, it certainly is. For instance, <laughs> would you attempt to do a complicated wiring up process on a boiler if you didn't know what you were doing? Would you touch any wiring if it had the potential to kill you with 240 volts? Would you even attempt it if you didn't know what you were doing because you ha had a severe lack of knowledge? Would you engage a theologian who was 40 years researched on the Bible if he was only one or two years looking into the scriptures? I think you'd say no, you just wouldn't do it, would you? For fear that your argument would fall down flat. But there are many people out there that do know the scriptures quite well. The Jehovah's Witnesses have professed to know their Bible and they profess to have an accurate knowledge of the scriptures and that's quite an important thing it's better to have an accurate knowledge than just knowledge now I'm not here to judge anybody I can't look into anybody's heart that is something that God does and God says it's the meek that should inherit the earth so he's not really looking for those that are puffed up with pride and those that have a dynamic understanding of the scriptures if it's not in their heart he would rather be looking for those that have it in their heart but they're not that clued up they're struggling but what they are is teachable and that is the most important thing and that is what Jesus Christ would have found in the Apostles they were all teachable they certainly had a fundamental sprinkling of spirituality beforehand. They would have been uh, people with uh, a fine, upright disposition, most of them, except, you know, Matthew the tax collector and everything else. But most of them would have had some grounding spirituality. I, I think that's what would normally happen when people look into a religion or they're looking into something deep and meaningful. It's usually that they've got something there. It's quite rare that you do get a situation like Saul, who later became Paul, and this um, remar remarkable and miraculous turnaround. But then again, a miracle played an integral role in changing his mind. But that's quite rare. It doesn't always happen. You know, most people, they uh, look into the scriptures because they're searching they're looking for something better something better than what this world is offering because this world isn't really offering much at the end of the day you know I, I keep saying you know that I'm personally I'm trapped in Satan's system until something else comes along and the only thing that will come along uh, better than this system would be a righteous new order and not man's new attempt new world order attempt which he will try to broker in at some stage and for him to do that he has to sort of bring in sort of uh, tyranny rules and get us to uh, jump through uh, hoops of his making and that's hardly kind is it I mean God offers people who are searching for accurate knowledge he offers them a reward at the end of it and that is that they would have the chance to live forever but we don't get that with what the global powers that be are doing at the moment they're not offering anything to us all they're doing is bring launching fear into us every day with the Ukraine war with the coming food shortages the the price hikes of food can't you see what they're doing can't you tell that these belong to Satan's system they belong to him don't they because there's nothing good that they offer nothing at all and so my argument today is yeah you might have knowledge 
you might understand the Bible, you might be able to go back in history as a theologian, but is it in your heart? Is it in my heart? It used to be. I remember when it was there. I remember when I felt all the spiritual things flowing through me. But is it there now? Well, it's time to examine the situation and uh, try and and look for a way to regain it because it's lost isn't it so I might just be now one of these people that are a physical person you know just just knowledge but not have heartfelt deep appreciation knowledge that would be the essential property that God looks for in a person if he is going to include them on the, the registry of life or the book of life which is what we all need to be uh, looking to get our name on just a quick one again and now it's time for breakfast I'll see you all again you all